Hello. Thank you so, so much for being here. If you're here today, it's because you are a seeker like me. You seek answers to your questions. You wish to understand some of the deepest secrets of the universe. See, so many people have stopped seeking simply because it pushes them out uh, of their comfort zone. It forces them to explore viewpoints they may have never considered before, outside of the reality they have created for themselves. It's like a part of them longed to stay trapped in an illusion because that's what felt comfortable. But you, you are different. You wish to see what's behind the veil and that I find honorable. Now, we're here today because I've received a note a couple of days ago with a set of coordinates along with a date and time. Hence why we're here in those beautiful woods today. Now, who left this note on my door is a complete mystery, but I have a feeling that they're trying to indicate the location of a place I've been trying to find for a very long time. And I have very good reasons to believe that this place could help us uncover some of the biggest secrets of time. Now, I do not know what to expect exactly, but I wanted you to come discover this with me. Because what greater way to learn than through immersion and experience? This is our first quest together, the first one amongst many others. I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about time. Now, let's keep going. We're not far. So you've asked me why I think time is so fascinating. Well, St. Augustine once said, What then is time? If no one asks me, I know what it is. If I wish to explain to him who asks, I do not know. I think it is quite clear that our lives are ruled by the flow of time, to the point that we take it for granted, despite it being so misunderstood. See, we base our understanding on time, on our perception of it, as if this was a reliable way of judging something so abstract. Remember, we used to believe that the Earth was flat. That's because from our perspective, the Earth looks flatter than it looks spherical. So for a long time, the idea that the Earth was flat became our truth, our perception of the world. We trust our senses way too much. See, Plato once asserted that our senses should not be trusted as they are deeply unreliable. He also said that true reality could never be found through the senses. So we perceive time as being linear, right? Like an arrow going from past to future. But is it really what time is? Or is it just an illusion? See, Newton believed that time was absolute, that it flowed continuously and independently from one's perception and from anything external and that this so-called absolute time was only detectable through mathematics. But that assumption was later proven wrong by Einstein himself in his theory of relativity. Let me explain why in a series of fun facts. Did you know that clocks run slower by the pyramids? They also run slower at sea level than they would at the mountains. That's because Einstein found with his general theory of relativity that massive objects distort space-time around them, causing time dilation. This means that time runs slower at your feet than it does at your head. That's because your feet are closer to the center of the Earth. Now, of course, you wouldn't be able to notice it because the difference is way too small. But satellites, for example, GPS satellites, which orbit at about 20,000 kilometers above Earth's center, have to constantly be recalibrated due to time dilation. They are equipped with highly precise clocks that gain an average of 38 microseconds per day. Time is certainly not absolute. It depends on many factors such as one's perception, where they are located in space, and well, we'll talk about the rest later. We're here. Stones. 
Well, this makes sense because today is the equinox and the equinox was very important for the Celts. See, the autumnal equinox along with the spring equinox are the days of the year where darkness and light have equal length. It became a solar festival for the Celts known as Mabon and many temples were created to honor this event. These stones were also used to tell time, although it wasn't their only role. Now, presumably, the sun should be going through those two stones and then illuminate the center. And for this, I have this little object with me. You'll see what it does for yourself. Hopefully this will work. Well, it worked. It's impressive, isn't it? Yeah, I remember being quite impressed the first time too. Right, so I don't know what to expect, but I guess we have to figure it out. Let's go. Tired of boring courses? Meet Time Immersion, my first immersive and interactive course. Come on a quest with me and discover the true nature of time and the real science of time travel through 22 exciting immersive videos and interactive modules. But it doesn't stop here. The third module offers you a more practical approach to time perception and offers tips and exercises based on psychological and neuroscientific work to improve your relationship with the past, the present, and the future in 31 videos. Explore a whole new way of learning and participate to the foundation of the future of education now on noviria.com.